Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a quick test drive on this brand new 2015 Ram 1500 Bighorn with the Eco Diesel engine. This will just be a quick test drive just to show how quiet these trucks are and how smooth they are. This vehicle is in Blue Streak Pearl. has a Bighorn Edition package on it. The interior is diesel gray and black with the cloth bucket seats. All right, so we're just going to take this truck up, up and down the highway, kind of get a feel for how smooth it is. Um, just kind of go from there. They're relatively new here. We've only had one or two other eco diesels. I've not actually had the chance to drive the first two because they've sold as soon as we got them. This one hasn't sold yet, so I'm able to take it out. So I was curious as to the acceleration um, and the smoothness and the uh, economy of uh, the, the truck with the diesel engine in it. Uh, bearing in mind this is just a half ton, it's just a 1500, and it has a 3 liter diesel engine in it. Uh, it's not designed to tow heavy weights, so, um, you know, it's not like the 6.7 Cummins in it, but, I mean, it still has good pickup, good, good get up and go. like right now I'm going up a hill and I'm my current miles per gallon is right around the 15 to 20 mark just depends on uh, how hard I'm running the engine right now I'm running about 60 miles an hour but if I set the cruise that's where I want to really see so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to set it at 60 miles an hour which is the speed limit through here It's actually 62. So far, the one thing I noticed is how quiet it is. Um, at road speed, you don't hear the engine at all, which I kind of thought you would be in a diesel, but I am used to the uh, three quarter ton and the one ton trucks. That diesel engine is a little bit louder. It is also bigger, and it's more powerful too. So, this one's not a slouch though. 420 pound-feet of torque. Um, I mean, it's got some oomph in it. It's connected to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Okay, so right now I'm on level ground. I have the cruise set to 62 miles an hour. Right now, my instant miles per gallon is saying I'm getting 33. And my range to empty is actually increasing. Uh, starting out, I think it was at 83 miles. Now it's at 86. We will cycle down to the economy. So right now I'm getting 29 miles per gallon. Averaging 18.5. The truck itself is very smooth um, for pickup. I mean, it rides just like any other 1500 would. Up through this area, it's kind of up and down. There's, you know, hills and valleys and dips. So the truck cycles between going down a hill at coasts. So you're getting higher than average miles per gallon. And of course, when you're going up a hill, the engine has to work to get up the hill. So, um, you know, it's kind of ups and downs. But that's, you know, good general feel of the truck. But at speed, the only the only way you know you're in a diesel is the fact that this, the fuel gauge says diesel fuel only, and you have a diesel exhaust fluid gauge. That's the only way you can tell that you're actually in a diesel. It doesn't. It's not loud, or the noise isn't obtrusive into the passenger cabin. There's no. I don't know. It's just it doesn't feel like a diesel to me, um, but it most certainly is. 
So currently we're getting 24 miles per gallon between 24 and 25. We're averaging 26.4. Here in a bit, I'm gonna turn around and go back the other way. That's just a rumble strip. This will be a good test on how the acceleration is on this truck with the eight speed and the diesel engine. So here we go. It's nice and warmed up, so. It's probably about right up there with the uh, three quarter and one ton trucks with the 6.7 liter. Just impressed at how smooth and quiet this truck is. Gonna give you a glimpse of the multi view reconfigurable instrument cluster. Uh, everything is pretty well reconfigurable within the LCD display. Uh, right now my upper gauge is my transmission temperature and my lower gauge is my voltometer. Um, the trucks with the diesel engine, they delete that volt gauge and they put the diesel exhaust fluid gauge in its place. Um, so it's kind of nice that you can get it back. And then of course, you know, your center port portion is all your information. So you've got what your current radio status is, you've got stored messages if the vehicle has a fault or anything. Um, you can actually, um, this is where you can change your upper four portions where the compass is, the outside temperature, your range, and then your current miles per gallon. Those can all be changed. Um, and then of course it's where you can also change your uh, upper, upper and lower gauge. But the vehicle must be actually uh, stopped and in park in order for that to do that for safety reasons. Uh, and then of course you got your speed, your digital speed. You can change that to kilometers per hour too. And then of course you've got your um, your gauge summary and your vehicle information too. So it can tell you pretty much all the stats of your of your vehicle, which is really handy, especially if you're towing a trailer. Uh, it's got your most uh, important functions: your coolant temperature, transmission temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure. Um, but then you can also scroll through and it gives you like a summary of your, you know, your engine hours, your idle time, your driving time, and then of course you've got your, your uh, tire pressure and then various different single gauges as well. It's a pretty handy system. Of course we are looking at our miles per gallon as well. So right now, under normal conditions, we're running 65 miles an hour, and the engine is probably about uh, 1,800 RPM, maybe, just a little over 1,500. So that's pretty impressive. We're in eighth gear. The eight-speed automatic, that eighth gear is a, is a really tall tall gear it's a real tall overdrive gear so that's where you get your your fuel economy it just lowers your rpm down not unlike in the passenger cars with a 3.6 liter v6 you can run all the way up to about 70 75 miles an hour at about 1500 rpm uh, and about the same in this truck as well of course every vehicle is geared differently for its task but it's nice those eight speeds are nice Alrighty, as we head back into the dealership, I'd like to take this time to thank you for watching this video. It's been a while since I've put a test drive video out, but every once in a while we get a vehicle that's I deem worthy of one. And as always, if you have questions or would like to see this vehicle, please contact our showroom. One of our many friendly sales representatives will be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. 
And as always, we do thank you for watching. Have a great day.